Alexis, il nous reste 5 minutes. Mais... Ok, Alexis, nous avons 5 minutes. Mais je ne vais pas clore la session sans nous. Leaving this wonderful slide to go towards another one, you need to show us how we can create buttons. Absolutely. Alors, par exemple, essayons d'inclure sur ce. So, for instance, let's try and include a button on this slide. Okay. So. The simplest thing would be to create a new graphic. So I'm going to create a square button with rounded edge, edges and a color. You have one in mind, I'm certain. No, not really. A green button. I want a green button. Maybe it's going to be difficult to... Maybe we'll have a dark green button. And this is the fifth layer. Leap out lead. And we modify the resource. We'll have it positioned right in the middle because it's going to be easier with no alignment. So it's going to be right at the center of our slide. So at the moment, you're just drawing a figure. Yes, I'm just placing one element here in the center. Okay, 320, 320. Yes, I'm missing a space. Okay. Voilà. Et donc j'ai un petit bouton qui vient d'apparaître. So I have this button here. But right now it's not a button. It's just a shape, a square. But as I'm a designer, but a, a beginner as a designer, I want to have a second button. Let's have a red one. And it's going to be next to my green button. And I'm going to position it s slightly down. Oh, sorry, it's a green because I pointed at the same resource. So that shows that you can use resources twice, reuse your resources. That was involuntary. So that's my second button. Et donc voilà, so, here are my two buttons. I have two layers. Now you're going to tell me. So I move my two resources here. So, creating a button is means creating a button element, which is going to encapsulate these two layers. So I'm going to finish writing it. And then I'll see what I need to put in there for this to work. So I go to the recap and button. That's a very simple one. You just put an attribute here, button ID, button one, and go to. So destination of a button. We say it's to open a next slide in the same site. So I need to give it a file ref as for the image earlier on. Yes, because that's an element on the Frogan's root directory at the moment. So as I don't have any at the moment, I need to define a second file. So I had my JPEG file here. I'll place it. Place Close to the button. Okay, sorry, I need to do my file two. Cut and paste. File two. Static. Static. And this one is going to be called slide two dot fsdl. We do understand that if I look at my directory, I don't have this file. 
so we are going to get into trouble. <coughs> so I'm going to introduce another file called slide2.fsdl. Et euh, je vais aussi euh, l'éditer. And I'm going to edit it here. And now that's the world of navigation because I'm going to be navigated to a second slide. So all this is all very nice, but it's not going to work for one simple reason. I do not fully observe the specification because the specification for the layer element says that if I want to place my layer in a button, I need to add a mandatory attribute, which is to know in which condition the button is visible. So I add this visible, and I say, well, the first one, the green one, I want it to be visible at all times. So I put always. As for the second, I want it to appear when the uh, button is activated f through focus. So I say I want you to be visible only when there is a focus on the button. Okay, and in the combine, when you use layer in a button, you need to put a clip in to combine the layers in a button. Absolutely. There are two things that need to be done. You're right, I was a bit fast. There are two things that you need to do when it's placed in a button. I need to have the clip value in combine, as written here, and I also need to use the lead. Why? Because buttons can only be placed in the lead representation of the Frogan site, not in the vignette. The vignette is not there to navigate and cannot include, and include any buttons. So I save that, I reload, I refresh. Oh, oh, that's an XML passing error. That's a more serious one. Yes, because at, on line 73, it says you can't do that. Yes, because I closed the button here at the top. And you see the colors are much nicer since I do things the way they must be done. Voilà. Okay, so I'm half successful here. I can't see the red. And when I move my mouse on it, you see that the layer just appears automatically. I could do the opposite and say, Visible equal always. No, I don't want the green button to be visible at all time. I want it to disappear when your mouse goes on it. So my specification says you need to write no focus then. So, oops. Okay. We needed to have this because otherwise you would have believed that this was not an alpha version that we had lied to you. At least now you understand this is an alpha version. We had a rendering error, code 101711. So, we'll register with the mailing list. <coughs> I'll show you how, it's very easy. And if we make this presentation and if we have this release, it's because we want to get feedback. So this one, I think I heard about it already, and it's not very honest uh, from me, but you have the early questions, that's a list, you post your question, and we answer to you. That's very important. So this one, we knew it, we were aware of it, Véronique was aware of it, but it's important because with lots of varied examples, you will end up in all sorts of situations and we need to get your feedback about these situations. So you take a screen capture of this, you put a part of your code which is not confidential and you sell it to us via the mailing list and you say, oops, there is a bug here and we will correct this. But we need to get as large feedback as possible. So no focus was not working, we'll see that next time.
So let's come back to always. <coughs> Plus ça revient, donc vous voyez, c'est pas dramatique. Euh, et par contre, ce qu'on peut faire. As you can see, it's back. And what we could also do is reverse this and say the second one, but the second one is no focus. No, it's not working. Okay, you know what? Next time. No focus is not working in the alpha version, not, very, not working very well. Um, Vous pensez que c'est le décalage en fait. Alors là, nous avons un testeur qui nous dit en fait j'ai compris votre problème. I think. I, I just wanted to switch the color. Well, if you want to superpose, um, see, I I've just changed, made a color change. Du coup, il faut essayer avec le no focus. Try with the no focus. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to do this. Well, let's give it a try. Here. And what 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 would be your expectation here? La même chose en fait. La même chose. Bon, voilà. Donc, par contre, the same thing. But you're right. Um, it looks like we've solved the problem, or we have a way to solve the problem. So when you put it in the same place, you do not get the oops. Okay. So you're probably wondering what happens if you click. Those who were here at the beginning of the presentation know what happens if you click. XML parsing error, the XML, declar XML parsing error, the XML declaration was not found. <laughs> so this is, we've had this before and um, so we've just now navigated to a second slide. So to conclude, could we? Could, do you mind putting a layer in the second one? Well, yes. I mean, it's it's getting late, so let's just cut and paste something. There we go. So I'm pretty much keeping what we put before. Oops. Okay, I'm not very good at cut and pasting, cutting and pasting. Um, there we go. Remember ResDraw with Emmanuel's favorite color? We have the ellipse and we, we place it right in the middle. There it is. So I'm stuck on the slide. I have no buttons to go back. And in the player, there is no back button. See, I can reload, but I can't go back. So what does that mean? It means that the author of the program site has to uh, actually include or think about the navigation or the browsing. So let me just reproduce the button we created earlier. And the, the file, so restaurant. There we go. I think it's ResDraw 5 and 6 and normally. Okay, I must have forgotten something. Okay, yep. I did not put the uh, file reference, of course. So there it is. But. Is it going to work? It is working. There we go. Now we have. Uh, I have my button. And so what you need to put is home. There we go. Right here. Load again. And when I click, I'm back to Jean Emmanuel. And when I click, I'm back on slide two. And this is how we've just created uh, our browsing experience. Notice how the second one was fast. It's not very sexy. It doesn't look very sexy, but it was easy to create and it uh, created a browsing experience. Alexi, thank you so much for uh, presenting and thanks for taking the time. Of course, there are a lot more elements, a lot more attributes, a lot more effects all kinds of combinations, all kinds of things, and, you know, there will be some oopses as well. 
et soit on les développera, euh, on pourra faire d'autres ateliers. And uh, hopefully we can organize uh, something similar in the future to show additional attributes and maybe advanced use of some attributes. You know, there are vectorial drawings. Um, utilisation avancée du texte on n'a pas montré de on n'a pas montré de texte international mais bon we haven't shown any international texts but it would work the same way um, as you see as you, as you saw there was a, a table of correspondence which is a pay font which uh, you have to put in an FSDL document as well as the standard fonts the ones that are in your word processing tools such as you know open office uh, LibreOffice um, Microsoft Word. And Alexi said, you can uh, play with the text, you can put it vertically, horizontally, you can uh, put it in a natural reading sense or not. Um, you can use filters, you can use shadows. Maybe we'll talk about this uh, if you want something to stand out um, on a site, you can do that. So that's it. So please make sure you read and make sure you give us your feedback on this first version. Again, we're talking about FSDL 3.0, static version, the one we're using with the uh, Frogans Player Alpha. Peut-être quelques quelques petites surprises qu'il faut nous rapporter. With, um, and again, if you have any surprises, get, please get back to us. Um, I think we have time for a few questions. Uh, any questions for Alexi? Well, I would like to first of all, says Alexi, I would like to congratulate the team of uh, of uh, developers. They've done a great job in doing this. Car oui, c'était la conférence, c'était la présentation d'FSDL et c'est de... Absolutely. This was the FSDL and Frogans Player, uh, thanks to the hard work of the developing team. So, congratulations indeed.